A Child's First Bible, Kenneth N. Taylor. A Child's First Bible, Kenneth N. Taylor, illustrated by Nadine Wick Wickenden and Dana Catchpole. Dear children, this little book is full of favorite stories from the Bible. It is very important to know these stories because the Bible is God's book. The Bible tells us how He wants us to live and how He wants us to do. Why not read one or more of these stories every day? Maybe you can already read. If not, you can ask someone to read these stories to you. At the end of each story, there is a question for you to answer. These questions can help you think about what the story means. After you read a story, you can talk to God. You can tell Him that you love Him. You can tell Him all the things you want Him to know. Remember to ask God's help every day. Ask Him to be with you all the time. Ask Him to help you obey Him and your parents. And always remember how much God loves you. Kenneth N. Taylor In the beginning was only God. God made the whole world. God made water and sky. He made flowers and trees. He put the sun in the sky. He made fish and birds. Everything was good. Genesis 1. Name something God made. Next, God made people. He made a man named Adam. He told Adam to give names to all the animals. Then God made the first woman Eve. She became Adam's wife. They were very happy. Genesis 1 What job did God give Adam? Adam and Eve did not obey God, so God made them leave the pretty garden. What a sad day that was. Adam and Eve could never go back to the Garden of Eden. Angels with flaming swords kept them away. Genesis 3. Why did Adam and Eve leave the garden? Cain and Abel were brothers. Their parents were Adam and Eve. Abel loved and obeyed God, but Cain did not. He was angry and killed Abel. There was a this was very wrong, and God was very sad. The rest of Cain's life was hard and difficult. Genesis four. How did God feel when Cain didn't obey him? God said he would make it rain until there was water everywhere. Noah believed God. God told Noah to build a big boat. It was called an ark. Noah obeyed God. Noah's three sons helped him build the boat on dry land. God promised to keep Noah and his family safe and dry. Genesis 6 What was Noah's big boat called? Finally, the big boat was ready. Then God said, Noah, take two of each kind of animal and bird with you. Everyone went into the ark. Then God shut the door at Genesis 7. Why did God want animals and birds to go in the boat?
Noah, Noah and his family were safe inside the ark. It, then it began to rain. It rained and rained, and water covered the whole earth. But inside the ark it was dry. Genesis 7. Where was it safe and dry? Look at that. What it what is all the beautiful color in the sky? It's a rainbow. God put it there so he would remember his promise to never again cover the world with water. Noah and his family and the animals came out of the ark. Then Noah thanked God for keeping them safe. Genesis eight through nine. Why did God put a rainbow in the sky?